uh, Lord's Prayer number three, actually, this is the third week. And who remembers the Lord's Prayer? Who can cite it? Can you pray it? Can you pray it uh, without cheating? Without looking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I have it here. You, you, you need it? So we can say it together. Uh, Otra vez. Yeah. <laughs> you have yours? Otra vez. I will leave this for next time because it is pointless. Okay. Okay. Uh, it to me. <laughs> our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You will be done. You no. <laughs> your kingdom come. come. You, you will, will be, be done, done on earth as is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For, for the yours kingdom, is the kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours Amen. and now and, now and forever. forever. Amen. Enrique. <laughs> Enrique has his own version of the Lord's Prayer. It was my echo echo. with echo. <laughs> I, I was telling Levi, and on Sunday I was, uh, it took me two hours to explain it. Well, one hour and a half. Because uh, in Spanish it says, uh, Our Father who is in the heavens. Mm. And the Greek says in the heavens as well, and the English Bibles say only heaven. Our Father who is in heaven. Blame King James. No, King James, well, what does King James say, uh, Enrique? Can, can, can you read the Lord's Prayer in, chapters in, in um, chapter 6? Because this is NIV. And King James, uh, Matthew, Matthew 6. Matthew 6, oh sorry, I mean Luke. Mm. Well, you can do it Luke too, but Matthew 6 is the one that does Matthew 6, bear. Matthew 6, verse 9. It says, um, uh, what part? What part? What? Six nine. Six nine. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, six go verse. Uh, this okay. Our Father in heaven, in hallowed, heaven. hallowed be your name. Only heaven. Then. Yeah. Only heaven. Yeah. But in in the Greek it says heavens, tus arunus, in the heavens, and and, and even the King James. Uh, uh, maybe you have the New King James. Yeah, have I, think, I think this is a new no, let me see. Yeah, let me see. NIV. Ah, NIV. Yeah. What did I say? No, it's not King James. Sorry. La, la, last, time, last time you brought the King James, that's why. Yeah. Anyway, now we, we are down to your kingdom coming. This is my wife's letter because she thinks my letter is so horrible. So. <laughs> I, I was going to make a comment on that. It looks good. Yeah, it looks very neat. Oh, <laughs> 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 your kingdom come. No, it's. Louis <laughs> this is the first, uh, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. This is the first thing we ask in the Lord's Prayer. This is the first thing. Your kingdom come. You're asking him. You're begging, somebody said. You, 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 we're, not, we're not asking him to bless our family, which is the, I have to admit it, is the very, if I pray in my room, at five o'clock, or well, sometimes I, I pray there, and or, or else when I'm, I'm late, which or to, to get out of here, which I'm always also always late. When I drive out and I'm praying, so I I, I know where I'm, I, and I know that exact place when I start praying for you, for you, because <laughs> because I have it all. But the first thing I pray is for Lord bless my wife, uh, bless my children, and I go for my three girls, and then I pray for him. And and when I read this, uh, I was reading that the Lord's prayer. You would imagine that God will teach you to pray first for your family? Because <laughs> that's the first thing I do. <laughs> and then, and then the way I pray is this. I pray for my family. Then I pray, bless my father and mother, keep them uh, healed. Uh, well, not healed, but uh, in Spanish I pray, uh, keep, keep them healthy. And bless my, and bless, uh, my wife's parents. And then I go for my, for my siblings but in the USA and also here in Australia. And I name each one of them and I name their their, their their husbands or wife and let their, their kids mm. and then Enrique comes in. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder that is not answering. <laughs> At five in the morning, you're <laughs> <early. early. laughs> <Early. laughs> And then I pray for the, the rest. Mm. Um, and I leave the church last, actually. Mm. I always leave the church last because uh, then I pray for the deacons and then I pray for the people from the church that we want to see. Um, because you leave the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, so, <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, that, that's a song. Yeah, that's a song. Um, uh, who, who sings it? You know, you, you know who sings it. The the, the, the woman who who, had, who was with uh, with Chayam. Anyway, 
your kingdom come. And the thing is that the, the first thing that we pray for, yeah, what's the day? No. She's black. The, 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 the woman. Uh, William. Yeah, William. Yes. Uh, yes. Huh? Williams. Yeah, something Williams. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Maybe Sarah. Yes. Okay. So God didn't teach us to to pray first for our country or for our family or for our, our, our jobs. No, he, 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 he teaches us to pray first for your kingdom, for his kingdom. And not only for his kingdom, but for his kingdom to come, to come down from heaven to us. So this is a, a well, see, even re reading this, it was very confronting. For, oh man, I'm, I'm praying the, the wrong way. Because where do you find God's kingdom? Yeah, yeah, that too. In your heart, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what they but God's kingdom is found in church. In church. That's where you find God's kingdom. Why? Because where are we taught to love our neighbor? In the church. <coughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see because uh, in the churches where we are. Uh, we we are tested if we really love our neighbor or not. So the first thing that we uh, we, we are told in the prayers to uh, is to pray for His kingdom to come. And and this is a material thing. In kingdom, what's kingdom? I mean, your means the Father, but the kingdom kingdom is something that reigns. So kingdom, it's also, and we're gonna political. <coughs> We're, we're, we're praying politics. Now with Donald Trump and stuff like that, yeah? We're praying that God's reign comes from here. Uh, there will be done on earth in heaven. So your kingdom come. <coughs> and how did Jesus start? Uh, if you can open Mark 1.14. Um, what was the beginning, beginning of, 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 um, of Jesus preaching Mark 1? Verses... 14 and 15. You got it there? Mark 1. And if Levi has it, yeah. uh, uh, can you read? 14 and 15. One. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. Um, the time has come, he said. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. The kingdom, the the, uh, the the time has come. The kingdom of God has come. Your kingdom come. But the kingdom hasn't come. Boom! And you're going to see in the parables, the kingdom is coming slowly, slowly. The thing is that, uh, this is what, when N.T. Wright is very good, uh, because gospel, the word gospel, a lot of people thought that the, go, the word gospel was was just a, a, um, a Christian word that means good news, but then they found out that no, it, it's um, it's a technical word for when some when Caesar comes to the throne. Yeah, when Caesar comes to the throne. So, and, and, I, ha and I have a quote there in, in the book that I told you was very well to, the one I told you. This is very good to understand about uh, Bib um, New Testament background. The, there's a quote that says. Uh, when uh, August, 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 Augustus Caesar comes and he brings us the gospel so he brings the gospel, the peace so when Jesus says the time has come, the kingdom of God has come <coughs> has come, it's not the kingdom of Rome yeah. it's the kingdom of God and there's only one God, I mean, there's a supreme God in, 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 um, in the whole Roman Empire. And who is the supreme God in the whole Roman Empire? Caesar. Supreme God. Supreme God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, Caesar has already brought Eungelion, Eungelion, Gospel, in Greek. So, Caesar has already brought peace. But Jesus comes and he says, "Repent, the kingdom has come." Maybe, maybe use the black one. Yeah, maybe use the black one. Okay, but the black one is running out. Yeah? Evangelion. So the gospel, 
So gospel means peace, a peaceful, a peaceful, um, a peaceful um, an, a pronouncement, a peaceful proclamation. But how does Caesar bring peace? Uh, we talk the first time we talk. How does Caesar and how does governments keep bring peace? By force, mm -hmm. they make you either by war or by law. And how did Jesus bring peace? How? No. Cross. By cross. So that's the difference. So when Jesus says, the time has come, he said, the kingdom of God, not of Caesar, not, not the next president, not the next prime minister, not the next uh, parliament, not, 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 not the next... Uh, <laughs> uh, because um, uh, what do you call it? The local, the local elections are coming. Yeah, even in Melton, do you have those local elections? <laughs> yeah, the local elections. Yeah, yeah. everything yeah. is coming. So yeah. if we if, if we uh, elect this guy or this woman, everything will be solved. No, Jesus brings the kingdom. He is the one. Um, Jesus has always been a political threat, and we see from his birth, Matthew two. Uh, and we're going to be going a bit quick. Matthew 2, chapter 2, verse uh, 3, and 13 to 18. Okay, okay. Matthew. When King Herod heard this, well, because listen to what, what happened. Uh, chapter 2 says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is that one who has been born king of the Jews? King of the Jews. Matthew 2, 2. And what did they put? What, what did they put on Jesus' cross? I want you to notice this. What did they put on Jesus' cross? Um, king of the Jews. Of the Jews. Of the Jews, sorry. That's in Matthew 27, 11. Let's, let's see. He wrote the word in Roman. In yes. R I O I in R I in R in R in in R in R in R in R I don't know in English, though. 2711? I would uh, say that that was written. written. That was written. Okay, you read it in uh, Matthew. What chapter? 2711. Mm. 11, verse 11. <coughs> you got it? Can you read it? No. <laughs> Are you ready? 2711. Mm -hmm. I'm not even there. I'm still 26. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Jesus was before the governors, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jewish? Well, the Jews! Sorry, well, the, the Jews! Jews the Jews! Just, you know, <laughs> point, then. <laughs> I know. You have you said so, Jesus yeah. replied. Mm -hmm. so, so, who's saying that he's the king of the Jews? Uh, the governor. And what about uh, uh, 27 37? 27 37. Can you read it, Natalie, if you have it? Uh, mm -hmm. uh. Which one? 30. Uh, 37. Verse, <coughs> verse, verse 37. Push up, Chapter 27. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. 37? 37, 37. Above his, above his head they placed the written change, chart change against him. This is Jesus, the king of Jews. The king of? King of Jews. The of, Jews. The Jews. of the Jews. Of the Jews. <laughs> of the Jews. Okay. No Jews. Enrique. Jews. Enri. Enri. Um, what is this? That you were the captain, you were the monarchy. That's, yeah. yeah, I know, but that's Latin. Yeah. No, no, this is not Latin. This is, uh, how to say, uh, siglas in, in English? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, What's the word? Um, yeah. Le, uh, you, you reckon? Uh, what, you know? What's it? Oh, no. Acron uh, acronym. 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 It's an acronym. Yeah. So, do you know, uh, Levi? In... <coughs> I don't know. I don't remember. No, no. Jesus. 
Nazarenus. Mm. Rex. Jutaios. Mm. Jesus. Nazareth. Nazareth. Yeah. Nazareth. King. Jews. That's what I mean. Inri. Mm, yeah. I never knew that. Oh, come on. No, you, no. Like, they don't teach you all this. You've got to be a, you gotta be a, you gotta be a to become knowledgeable. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. He's... No, he's, he's running, okay? No. So that's what it means, Inri. So when you see all these uh, nice frescoes, so, he, 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 Inri, uh, Je- Jesus, Jesus. Nazarenus, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a, uh, yes. S. Uh, <coughs> Rex, mm-hmm. Eudaios. So that's what you see in Re. So in the Gospel of Matthew, with uh, the Matthew starts saying that the Magi, who, who are the Magi? The, the three, the three, um, the, 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 the Melchor, Gaspar, and Huevos. <laughs> Melchor, Baltasar. And Baltasar, yes. So um, the, these three people come to Jerusalem and they ask this thing to the king. To Herod, who's the king? And he asked them, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? And, and imagine Herod says, hey, but I'm king. <laughs> I'm king, I'm still alive. I'm still here. So it's a political, from the beginning, Jesus is a political threat to all power. To all power. So, to this. In 1318, so what, so what does he do? When they had gone, an angel of the Lord, and I'm reading 2.13, well, the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt. For he stayed until the death of Herod and so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I call my son. Mm-hmm. So, so, total political. Total political from the beginning. And we, because people say, no, Jesus is something, uh, the Jesuits, yeah, Enrique, Je, the Jesuits, they're very political because they take mm. this very seriously. Yeah. This very seriously. <coughs> and we Protestants, we have just taken. The devil offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the world if Jesus would worship him. That's in Luke. Just put it down because we have to go fast now. Luke 4, 5, and 8. Who remembers that? Luke 4, 5, and 8. And when the devil tempts Jesus, and he takes it, takes him to the to the pinnacle of the temple, and he offers all the, the kin- kingdoms. The kingdoms of the world. Yeah, yeah, the kingdom. Luke 4, 5, and 8, yeah. Uh, Luke 4, 5, and 8, yes. Specifically that. It's written now, it should not live on very long. It's written <coughs> Yeah. What do you want to know? No, no, yeah. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left mm. the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days. At the end of the day, he was hungry. I mean, you don't eat one day and you're hungry. Mm. <laughs> Jesus did for 40. The devil said to him, uh-huh. If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Men shall not live on bread alone. The devil led him up in a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all all be yours. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Why? Because Jesus is going to be the king of everything. But if he worshiped the devil, he wasn't going to suffer the cross. Mm. So, this just depends how we're going to come, how we want this kingdom to come. We want it the easy way, and that's the problem with American Christianity. American Christianity, they are so uh, into this thinking that uh, if we elect the right president, we are going to bring the kingdom of God. Mm. That's what's ha- happening. If you read all these people, that's what's happening. They believe that if they elect the right person, they are going to um, to bring heaven to earth, or at least to the United States. <laughs> but that's not the way it goes. They, God's kingdom is not 
it's not hasn't come yet and nobody can bring it um, in Luke chapter 18 verse 18 to 25 Jesus tells some a the rich young man what do I need to inherit eternal life uh, you, you shall love the Lord and, and I do all the commandments okay sell everything and follow me and I want to just read this part uh, we, uh, uh, because this part we've been in churches that they ask for a lot of stuff. They ask for giving money, and, and they like people who have money. In some churches, some churches love people who have money because they give more more money. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, the people who the, it says a certain ruler eighteen eighteen. And, and look, I'm just gonna read so we can go fast. A certain ruler asked him, "Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life?" Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, "No one is good except God alone." You know the commandments. You should not commit adultery, you should not murder, you should not steal, you should not give false testimony, honor your father and mother. All this I have kept since I was a young boy. I was a boy, he said. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, you will lack one thing. You still lack the one thing. Sell everything you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Then he, when he heard this, he became very sad because he was very wealthy. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. <coughs> Some people believe that if you're rich, you got it made. You are into the kingdom because God is blessing you because, because you're so good. Yeah. You're such a good Christian. But Jesus, what did he say? How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Mm. And he's not talking about, oh, there's a, there's a door in Jerusalem that's the, the, the call the, the needle and then the camel have to kneel. So the, the, the rich people have to kneel as well before Jesus. No, he's talking about a real needle. Can you fit a camel in a needle? Have you, have you been in a camel? Have you seen camels? How big they are? You have seen because yeah. you were... Yeah, yeah. Huh? One. Yeah, Geelong, yeah, Geelong, don't know. So they're big. Can you fit a camel? No, you can never. So... That's why the Anabaptists, which I'm very fond of, they sell everything. They they like they believe, and I believe too, that we should have a very simple life. We don't we, we, we're not supposed to have so much. So who can enter the kingdom of God? The rich? It's very hard for them. It's very hard for them. <coughs> they don't wanna go. They don't wanna let go of things. They don't they, they, they always wanna keep their, their riches. But who can enter the kingdom of God then? Galatians 3, Galatians 3, 27 and 28, New Testament, <laughs> Galatians 3, 27 and 28, it says, For all of you who were who baptized into Christ have clothed them yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ. So who can enter the kingdom of God? Only Salvadorians? Only Chileans? Yeah. Only Jews. Only Jews? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Only white people? Yeah. No. <laughs> Probably <laughs> all can enter. Only people from Apopus. From Apopa. <laughs> Apopus. All can enter the kingdom of God. Before this, before Jesus, only who could enter the kingdom of God? Only Jews. And then, I mean, the Jews can still go into the kingdom of God if they, if they repent. But now everybody goes in. But and who does Jesus hang out with? Jesus hang out, hangs out with very weird people. Mm. With the tax collectors and with the sinners. Mm. With the prostitutes. Everybody goes in. 
the party people. With the outcasts. <laughs> this is Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> the party people. <laughs> party men. Party men. Uh, party men. <laughs> rebuke you. Uh, after this, we're gonna we're, we're gonna put you in discipline. La vara, la vara. Matthew 9, Ma- Matthew 9, uh, 10 to 12 says, <laughs> While well, Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, <laughs> uh, not Matthew, not from church, but this is only Matthew, mm-hmm. many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his, and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, What does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Mm-hmm. But go and learn that this means, what it means, a desire of mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call the right, not the righteous, but sinners. So, the party people, <laughs> the party people in, in, in the Bible are called sinners. sinners. But these are the people who are going into the kingdom. Why? Because Jesus invites them. Yeah. Are you going to invite a drunk into your house? Would you invite a drunk into your house? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Somebody smelly? Yeah? <laughs> we don't usually do that, but Jesus does. And that's what we wear, because sin smells bad to God. <laughs> he does. Mm. We're stinking in front of God. So mm. you know, when Kylie doesn't doesn't take a shower, he, she stinks. Mm. And we don't like touching her because she stinks. <laughs> <coughs> and then how does the kingdom of God grow? In parables. So here we come to the parables. Um, Mark four. Mark four. Mark 4, 26 and 29. There, there, there are a lot of them. Mark 4, 26 and 29. But uh, there are a lot of parables. If, if you see from chapter 4, there, the chapter 4 is full of parables. Uh, 26 and 29. He said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. So we're talking your kingdom come. And he explains what the kingdom is. This is, this is, this is what the kingdom is, of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground, <coughs> night and day. Whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it because the harvest has come. So we don't know how this kingdom comes. We pray for the kingdom to come, but we don't know how it grows. But we want to see. We always want to see how the kingdom of God grows. Oh, the church is, the, the, the church is um, um, uh, filling up. Our church is filling up with people. But is, is it really the kingdom of God or somebody else's kingdom? <laughs> That's the thing. Is it really the kingdom of God? Is it really everybody's coming in? All the sinners are coming in. Uh, is, is really everybody's repenting? Or yet they're just parking, finding somewhere to park? Mm-hmm. Because there's the other problem. And I don't know, lady, maybe you know it. The kingdom of God is like, a, it's like the seed. Uh, yeah, we're going to read it. It's like the, the master seed. Mm-hmm. And all the birds come. All birds come. To rest on it. Not only the, the chosen ones. Everybody comes to rest. Yeah. So we don't know who's, who, who's there. Sometimes. Um, Mark 4, 1-9. to Same chapter. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd then gathered. The gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in out of the lake. While all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. 
some fell on rocky, pla or rocky places where it, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were all scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and shook the plants, so what they did, so so that they did not bear grain. The still other seed fell on the soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop. Some multiplying thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times. The Jesus said, "Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear." While he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. He told them, "The secret of the kingdom of God." Again, the kingdom of God. The secret. How did he start? his gospel, the first thing Jesus said repent for the kingdom of God has come the kingdom, has, the, the kingdom of God has come repent so the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you but those who on the outside everything is saying parable, but let, let's go to 13 don't you understand this parable how then will you understand any parable so this parable is the key to everything the farmer sows the, the word some people are like seed along the path, while the word is sown. As soon as they, bear, as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that, can, that was sown in them. Others like seed, well, and, you, and, you, and you know the thing, and he explains it. The thing is that people say, oh, the seed, the word of God has power to change everybody. Jesus says, no, it, it doesn't change everybody. Even though the seed may fall on the soil, which we are, it doesn't change everybody. Yeah. Does, it, does, it, does that mean that the, that the gospel, that the word of God is not powerful? No. It means that the soil is bad. We want God to change everything we want. Yeah. But some seed are, some, some soil is bad. The seed is always going gonna, gonna to bear fruit. But some are going to what? Others, like, uh, the, as soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. 16. Others, like, seed sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Still others, like, seed sown among thorns, hear the word. But the, but the words of the life, the deceitfulness, deceit, deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires for other things come in and choke the world making unfruitful. Others like seed sown on good soil. Hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop. Some 30, some 60, some 100 times what was sown. So, it's not the seed the problem. It's the soil the problem. The seed still, still comes up. But... We are the problem. It, it, it's, it's a very tricky issue because the people say, oh, the poor of God is going to change everything. No, it doesn't. Jesus said it's not going to change some people. It's not going to change some people uh, because, because the worries of, the, of, of life, because Satan comes up. But the seed is good seed. But the soil is the bad soil. So we should not blame the seed. Unless they analyze the soil and improve it. Yeah, but how do you do that? Well, well, nowadays we got a lot of phosphorus and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> Chemist, chemistry. And this is uh, and this is a short, <coughs> short parable. It's still in Mark thirteen because because of what Enrique is in in Erica are cooking. Mark thirteen thirty six and I want to finish it around nine. 30, 34 and thirty six fourteen. Uh, yeah, thirteen thirteen thirty four and thirty six. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. Where am I? Mark thirteen. Yes. Mark 13. No, this, this is the wrong one. Mark 5? No. Yeah. The, 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 the parable of the, um, of the yeast. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me get this thing. The master seed? No, we're going to read that. Uh, let's read that one then. Read the master seed, Enrique. <coughs> Again, he said, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable? shall we use to describe it. It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet, when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, and? with such big branches that the birds can perch on its... All head. birds! All the birds come to perch. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. 
rats come to Persia. <laughs> Rat, I don't know, everybody. He's a Google. He's a Google, but, no. but, uh, but, but every, every, all of this stuff comes to Perch. Everything comes to Perch. So it doesn't matter how or what type of bird, you're gonna get them. Mm. So you're gonna find that at church. Because everybody thinks church, everybody's so holy, so, mm. so everything. And, 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 and what, what was that, uh, Enrique? Mark what? That was four. Mark four. Mm -hmm. um, say. 30, yeah, 30, 32 I have here. Yeah, um, <coughs> Matthew 13, 34 to 36. Matthew 13, actually, 13, 33. Yet, them, yet he told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the door. Yeast. And what does yeast do? Makes, you don't know, you don't it know. makes the stuff grow. It yeah. makes the stuff grow. <coughs> so the kingdom is invisible. You, you're not going to see it. See, we have seen that everybody comes, the kingdom is more, the kingdom is like, like works and we don't see it. So this is what we're asking for. Your kingdom comes, something that we don't see, something that, <laughs> something that, that, that is more, something that, that, ma that makes grow, but nobody sees it when you, how, how does it. Um, something that everybody can come, that's the kingdom of God. Why do you think the kingdom of God? Because the thing is that at church, we always think the kingdom of God is when people are falling off, you know, yeah. when, when, when you see all these miracles. You don't see the miracle of, 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 of the bread coming up. Mm. You, don't see, you put the master seed, you have to wait for a long time for that seed to grow and become the biggest or, or one of the biggest yeah. um, trees. Mm. Yeah. So, Jesus doesn't promise us that the kingdom of God is where this big and powerful church is. It's quiet. It's unseen. And that's what we're, we're, we're asking for. Kingdom is future. Acts 1.11 says, uh, Acts 11, um, that Jesus will, will come back and bring the kingdom. In Acts 11, uh, uh, 11. He says, because they, uh, they ask him. Um, they ask him, uh, the, the, uh, one occasion while he was sitting over. Mm -hmm. They gather, uh, six, uh, verse 6, they gather around him and ask him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? The kingdom. They want a kingdom. To Israel. Mm -hmm. To Israel. Because who are they? Who are they? Under what kingdom are they now? Roman kingdom of Caesar. Caesar. Under the kingdom of Caesar. So they want to restore their own kingdom. What did Jesus say? It is it, it's not in October. It's not blood moons. Mm. It says, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by His own authority. But you will receive power in what the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the, of the earth. So that's what it is. He will restore the kingdom? Wait. Wait. You see all this injustice? Wait. And finally, let's do this thing. Uh, your will be done. <coughs> on earth, as in heaven. <coughs> Ah, this is a big one, but I'm not, 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 not going to read it. But I just want to mention to you. Remember Joseph? What happened to Joseph? Because we're going to, we will have to read it, but I don't want to read it. because It's too long. But what happened to Joseph? Oh, a few things happened. Yeah, yeah, but, but, <laughs> no, but, but, but the main thing, yeah. <laughs> Who is he? Joseph, uh, Mary's wife. Yeah, 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 yes. Did that guy? Yeah, he's Him? the guy. Or didn't he want to run away? <laughs> No, oh, he didn't want to run away. He was. Uh, Potiphar's wife blamed him that he wanted to rape her. They oh, Joseph. You're yeah, talking about Mary's husband. Joseph oh, in the Old Testament. Ah, yeah. oh, sorry. His son of Jacob. <laughs> I didn't well, know that. Well, yeah, I missed that information. Sorry. 
I provide the wrong answer based on the information you were giving. <laughs> okay, so, so Joseph was was uh, Abraham's favorite, uh, Isaac's uh, uh, yeah Isaac yeah Isaac's favorite no Jacob's favorite it was Jacob's favorite yeah. and what did the brothers do? They send him away. Yes, but what did they do? Uh, they put him in a hole. Yes, in yeah. a cistern, and they left him there. And they went, what, what did they do with with his with his uh, garments? The garment. Yeah. 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 No, kill the kill the lamb, put the blood, and then he went to the he he, he went to the they went to the to the to the facet. Look a, at this. A lion. Are these are, are these your sons? Mm. To 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 their own brother. Actually, I was listening to, to something on the radio yeah. last night, mm -hmm. and I think it's in, in when you translate mm -hmm. what the father says about him, mm -hmm. about Joseph, it's like he's one of the most, uh, uh, they used to refer him as a uh, rubbish, his son. Yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll mm -hmm. talk to you after that. Okay? Uh, but in, ch in chapter 45, this is the, this is the, the thing. Uh, chapter 45 of Genesis, uh, verse 4, Joseph says, Joseph, Joseph says, Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the, the one you sold into Egypt. Then now, do not be distressed and do not be angry with, your, with yourselves for selling me here, because I was to say, it was to say lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been a famine in the land, and, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to, pres to preserve you a rem remnant on earth and to save you, uh, to save your lives by, by, by great deliverance. So then, it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, Lord of his entire household, and ruler of Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and say to him, there is, well, he says that. So, Sometimes we don't know how God's will is done on earth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel, oh man, they, these brothers of mine, they sold me off, and I was sent to Egypt, and then they put me in jail. <laughs> mm -hmm. And at the end, what happened? It was God's, God's, God's will. Purpose, yeah. God's purpose, yes, that, that's, that, that's good. But people see life today as either a choice, Or chance. Mm. You have to. You have to. You have to. Um, you have to do your, your your studies in order to have money or in order to be ahead. Or you have to have. You have to be born in the right family in order to have a good life. Choice or <coughs> chance. Those are the two things that they give us. And we have to understand that, that everything that happens on earth is God's will. Uh, just, just, and this is very controversial. Because God knows everything, yeah? God knows everything. And Jesus said that uh, uh, even all our hairs in all the all the hairs in our in our head are counted. You laugh here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the hairs. So God knows everything. Oh, this kind of <laughs> God knows everything. Even when we don't obey Him, like when we do wrong, is it God will that we do? Uh, no. Because there are some Christian, very good Christian theologians uh, that I like, but they say that even when we sin, that's God's will. And I think that's troublesome. And I think that's wrong. Even though they may be very smart and they may be very good, because they say God is in control of everything. And if he's in control of everything, why do we ask him for his will to be done? Why did Jesus say your will be done on earth as it is in heaven? So, and, and the thing is that uh, many Christian thinkers and reform, mainly reform people, they only go to the to Paul's letters to, to get their idea of God. But who was with God from the beginning? Jesus. <coughs> Jesus. The Son was with him. So he knows him best. And Paul, and if you read Paul after, on the light of what Jesus says, you understand Paul. But people don't. They go to Paul and then come back to Jesus. Mm. And Jesus was the one, he says, I was the, I come from the Father's womb, so close. 
So you will be done. So God knows, uh, and I put here something. Uh, you will, we ask God to do something afterwards, result. We, uh, no, 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 where is Will versus, uh, the will, so they put the will of God, will versus knowledge. Your will be done. He knows when people do wrong. We read it last time that he he that uh, uh, he's in heaven, but he knows everything, yeah. and he sees when people don't do his will, and he punish people. So is it the will of God that these people die in hell? Some people say it is. Some people say it is that uh, it was the will of God for him to die, like. Um, <coughs> Uh, today I saw I, I saw um, on TV uh, some kids that have cancer, and, and you, you, know, you, know, you know this because you work with them. Uh, some kids that have cancer. Is it the will of God that kids have cancer? Is it the will of God? Is our God so evil? Because this is the problem. That's why a lot of people don't believe in God, the God that some people preach. Mm-hmm. Because they don't. That's God's will? Mm-hmm. Can be. Because God loves the children. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's God's will of this woman to be killed by this guy who was high on ice, who raped her and then killed her. <clears throat> it's God's will for, for her to die. Mm. No. But he knows that who did it. He knows that that happened. Mm. So, God doesn't will evil. Why he allows it? <clears throat> I don't know. Why did he allow Joseph to be taken into Egypt? Why did he allow um, uh, him to be put on, on, in jail? He, he didn't know. Only at the end he found out. And he at least he found out. Job didn't find out because why he suffered so much. God never told him, I made a witch with the devil, that's why you suffer. <laughs> he never told him. So, you will be done. It means that God's kingdom, God's sovereignty will at the end will crush everything. It will restore all injustice. Because if we say that injustice, that, that, that everything is the will of God, then injustice is the will of God as well. And we know that God is not an unjust God. So God does not will injustice. But why do we have this? Because what we say in the beginning... Sin. God does not will this, but we ruin His creation. I was going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have to go right to the, to yeah. the beginning of creation. So you will. We ask. We ask God to do something. You will be done. We we ask God to do something to do His will to bring justice. We got the whole world in ah, and this is. Remember that we had, you got the whole world in your hands, you got the whole world in your hands. Do you remember that one, yeah? That mm-hmm. song? But do you remember the ad on TV? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who runs the ad on TV? Oh, I can't remember the ad. My, I remember there was an ad with that song. Who remembers? Um, and, who's, who, and who's is it that ad singing? The Grafica, you remember? <coughs> who, and yeah, remember. Who is the ad singing to? The ad is, it was made by. Mastercard. <laughs> yeah. And who is Mastercard singing to? Money. No. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, to you. Money. You got the whole world in your hand. Yeah. Because you got the money. Mm. You got a Mastercard, don't you? Uh, <laughs> 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 I do. <laughs> so they took out a the the Christian world, song. Yeah. They took out a Christian song yeah. and they made it into that you have the power in your hand. You got the whole in your hand because you have a master class. Yeah. You got power. But we ask for his will to be done. What is his will uh, in kingdom coming? When is his will in kingdom coming? We're about to finish. Second Peter 3 8. Second Peter 3 8. When is it coming? Second Peter 3 8. We read that Jesus <coughs> said that it's in, only in the Father's uh, will that... Oh the, man, this, this Bible is so accurate. 
I yeah. just put my finger. Okay, read it. Three eight. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise. The Lord is no slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slow a slowness. In anyone, instead, instead, sorry, where are we? Hmm. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repent. And this is very troublesome too for some people because people say God only loves the elect. God only came to die for the elect. And mostly, most of them are Calvinists, which Calvinists they have a lot of good things. I'm not gonna say that they are totally bad, um, but this verse destroys that because it says. Everybody, God wants everybody to repent. Not only the chosen, yeah. but everybody. So that should take Calvinists back and read what chosen means, what, what only the chosen number. Um, we ask first to do his kingdom and will. The forces of evil battle today in disease, war, violence. That's what we ask for his will to be done. It's not his will for Aleppo to be bombed. It's not his will for children to have cancer. It's not his will uh, for um, for people to be raped, to be killed. Um, it's not his will. But we ask for his will to be done. So when he, when his kingdom come, everything will be made new. And this is to finish uh, in uh, Romans 8. Romans 8. <coughs> Romans 8. 20, 8, 20, 8, 20, 8, 8, 28. And we know that in all things, remember Joseph, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to to his purpose. For those who God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, those he called, he also justified, those he justified, he also glorified. So we are promised that he will restore everything. He will restore everything. Yeah. And to finish off, what did Jesus say at Gethsemane when he was praying? What did he say? With bit. Where he was praying. Take, about, it, take about, away this about take, will. take away take away this cup, but at the end let your will be done. Yes. Yeah. But, no, but he didn't say it like that, but <laughs> take away this cup at the end. <laughs> but for a lot of ignorance out there, they don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Matthew twenty six. <laughs> Matthew twenty six and <laughs> finish. Yes. Matthew twenty six and we finish. <laughs> And we finish Matthew 26. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's Enrique's Enrique's uh, Enrique's version. But you get a point <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to read this part. 26, 36, 26, 36. Where are we? Matthew 26, 26. Matthew 26, 36. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. <coughs> and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, 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 he fell with uh, his face on the ground and prayed, My father, if it, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed. This is only the thing that he prayed. My father... If it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. So, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
So we have the example of Jesus who did the will of the Father. So we want God's kingdom to come, but that requires for His will to be done on earth, and specifically in our church. Because we are asking our Father, so remember, you, we are praying in a group, not individually. Our Father who is in heaven, how be your name? Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In, in the next week, the next time, give us, no, give me, give us our daily bread. Mm. Not give me, give me, give me an iPhone, give me an iPad, <laughs> give, me, give me, give me a Samsung 7, who <laughs> is exploring? No, give us, mm. give us. So this is still communal, this is still among 